In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to revive your old drill battery. Um, normally what's wrong with them is only one or two of the cells is dead. So the first thing you need to do is open it up. Um, they're pretty easy to open. They've got four or six screws on the bottom. Uh, you may need a special screwdriver to open it. Then you just pull out the batteries like this. This is a NICAD battery. And what you want to do is you want to go around on each cell so the big flat surface is negative and the positive is the smaller one just go around with your multi-tester so it should be on DC 20 volts and you just go negative positive that's 1.4 volts which is good so we know that that's okay I'll check the other one now that, I oh know that's 1.4 volts as well, there'll be one dead one in here and um, all I'm going to do is pull it out and with another um, dead battery I've got, I'm going to find a good cell in there and put it into this one. So I've found uh, the dead cells, they're like measuring at 0.2 volts. There's two of them and they're actually pretty obvious anyway. So you can see the center one here has like all this rusty type dirt around it so I'm not surprised that one's dead and also this one that it's connected to over here was also a really low voltage and you can see that it started bulging here um, so that means that it's overheating and the cells are just stuffed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these cells out um, and I'm going to put two more cells in there now I'm going to weld mine in because I've got a battery welder but um, if you've got a soldering iron you can just solder a wire between them to match the uh, nickel bits that are already welded on here. So uh, I'll just do that now and I'll show you what it looks like. So I thought I'd show you the cells I'm about to put in. Um, so I put this nickel plated iron metal across here I've welded it on but as I said um, you can just well I uh, just solder a wire across there and um, on the other side I'm going to weld that into where the other batteries went um, I just put some black tape around it to differentiate it from the other cells so I know that if I look in this again that these were the cells that were replaced so I've welded those cells in it all looks good and I've tested it on the multi-tester and it looks fine so now I'll put it back into the battery case and let's see if it charges so here it is charging that's probably going to take a while so I'll open up that other battery which doesn't charge at all just like this one didn't charge at all and I'll fix that one too the battery just finished charging and I'll put it in saber saw here uh, only took 45 minutes to charge so let's see how it goes <laughs> yep just get my cat over there but works perfectly so normally these DeWalt batteries about 150 bucks each this just cost me nothing to fix but even if you were gonna buy your own multi-tester soldering iron solder and you were gonna buy a couple of brand new cells wouldn't be more than $50. So learning how to fix your batteries is a really good move.